Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, defining member functions in C++. So before starting, uh, I want to uh, share my details with you. Uh, you can note down my contact number and email ID for any query. You can visit my website techmis.in. You can download my app techmis from Google Play Store. It contains tutorials regarding C, C++, PHP, Java, ethical hacking, etc. You can download PPTs from tutorials.techmis.in. You can read various books related to programming languages and you can subscribe and watch my YouTube channel. Uh, so use these information for your study and placement purposes. So now coming on defining member functions. So there are two methods uh, through which we can define member functions in a class. First one is inline and second one is outside. So the data members of a class must be declared inside the class declaration. So notice that data members, it means variable. We have to declare all the variable inside the class. Whereas the member functions of the class can be defined in following two ways in which first is inside the class specification and second one is outside the class specification. So we can uh, define all the uh, members uh, in the class or we can define those members outside the class as well. So uh, first I am uh, explaining uh, inline member functions with you. So here two points are written. In first, uh, these types of functions are commonly used uh, with classes. So it means uh, in most of the classes, the functions will be inline. It means they must be defined inside the definition of the class. In many of the program, you will notice that functions are defined as inline. It means inside the body of the class. So here's the syntax of inline function in which in public section, you can see that return type, then function name, then parameter list, then body of the function is uh, defined. So uh, this function is defined inside the class. So we can call this function as inline function. So this is the common syntax of inline function. So you can use this syntax to implement inline functions in any of the class. Now example of inline function. So uh, this comment is showing the object of the uh, program. Uh, it is saying read a complex number and display using inline member functions. So this is the complex class. It is very uh, easy example for you. Uh, here two data members are available real and imaginary. Both variables are private because private is by default. Then public section is available. Uh, inside public section, uh, I have mentioned a function read which is reading real part and imaginary part from user and this comment is showing that this function is inline member function because the definition is provided inside the class. Uh, in continuation with the example, another function is show which is showing a real number uh, on the console. Here I have used if condition uh, to check whether the imaginary value is less than zero or greater than zero. If it is less than zero, then i minus i will be printed. If it is greater than zero, then plus i will be printed. So here comment is also saying that this is inline member function because uh, I have provided the definition inside the class. Then termination of class, then main function inside main object C1 is declared, then it is calling read and show functions in main function. So after completion of uh, inline function, I am coming on outside member functions. So uh, this is the another way of defining member functions. So in this, uh, you can see the first point in this type declaration, uh, in this type declaration of member function is declared inside the body of the class. So friends, uh, there are three parts of a function declaration, calling and definition. In case of inline function, declaration is not required. But in case of outside member function, declaration is required. And we have to uh, declare that function inside the body of the class. Then definition is defined outside the body of the class with the help of a uh, sc scope resolution operator. So this operator is uh, very special. It is available in C++. So it is known as scope resolution operator. So whenever we define definition of a function outside the class, then we have to use this operator so that we can bind that function with a particular class. 
then scope resolu resolution operator is used to bind that function with a particular class to which they belong so i have already uh, explained uh, the use of uh, scope resolution operator now coming on to the syntax so in this syntax you can see that there uh, there is declaration as well as definition both are available so declaration says uh, return type function name in parameter list so it is a one line statement then after uh, definition of class the definition of function is available with the help of scope resolution operator so in this definition return type the name of class then scope resolution operator then function name and parameter list are available so uh, whenever uh, you are defining a function outside the class then you have to use name of a particular class along with scope resolution operator so that we can relate uh, the function with the particular class now example of uh, defining member function outside the class so the complex class is modified now uh, real imaginary data members are same then in public section declarations of outside member functions are available so in this example i have just declared read and show function inside the class after a class definition first read function is defined with the help of scope resolution operator or you can see that uh, with scope resolution the name of class is also available which is saying that this read function belongs to complex class in continuation with this example another function is show which is also implemented with the help of scope resolution scope resolution operator and name of class so after these definitions main function is defined inside main complex c1 object is declared first it is calling read function then show function so friends uh, these were the examples of uh, inline and outside member functions now we have to discuss which one is better when we have to use inline and when we have to use outside member function so in this slide uh, the title is when to use inline and outside so two points are written here first is inline functions are used when a function have very few statements to execute because compiler expands its definition with the calling statement another point says if function has any complex code or large number of lines then compilation process will take time so in this case defining member function outside the class is more beneficial and appropriate so with the help of this slide you uh, will be able to understand the use of inline and outside member functions now i am coming on outside member function as inline so this is uh, very simple here i have used a keyword inline so uh, when uh, you have defined a function outside the class and you want that it uh, this function uh, will work as inline function so you can place inline keyword just before the definition of that function so definition is uh, outside the class but this function will work as inline function because of inline keyword so you can see this example definition is uh, implemented with the help of scope resolution scope resolution operator but it it is having inline keyword before it so this function is outside but it will work as inline function so these are uh, some practice work for you you have to implement all these uh, uh, programs with uh, the help of defining member functions outside the class so you have to define all the member functions outside the class so first program uh, is saying calculate area and circumference of circle then you have to read height and uh, height of a person and display it then you have to read array and print it sum then you have to read matrix and print it sum so uh, for uh, the solution of these programs you can uh, go on the tutorial uh, for uh, to or you can go on tutorials which are implemented with the help of practical implementation so uh, in my practical demonstration uh, videos you will be able to find solution of these uh, programs so uh, must watch those videos so that you can understand the practical implementation of programs so uh, i have uh, made separate playlist for theoretical explanation videos uh, as well as practical demonstration videos so you can go with theory as well as practical programs uh, you have to implement these programs on your laptop or desktop so that you will be able to uh, program uh, c++ uh, uh, questions in your laptop so uh, implement these programs you can also uh, note down my details again uh, 
वेबसाइट ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल आर अवेलेबल सो फॉलो दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर योर स्टडी एंड प्लेसमेंट पर्पजेज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो